Hey, I just wanted to do a little video on the new truck that I picked up. I uh, ended up buying it because I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the fact that it was an 83 and in California it's smog exempt because it has the diesel factory, which is uh, the 6.2 Detroit diesel. Definitely not the most powerful motor by any means. But uh, I like the fact that it's decent on gas, it's smog exempt. And uh, it's just, you know, loud and fun to drive, so pretty cool truck. Got a good deal on it, I think. Runs great, no problems. A little damage in the back, as you can see. Going to pick up a new bumper here in just a few minutes, so I'll have that replaced. None of the windows work yet, so also getting some parts for that, but... thought I'd share. Haven't seen too many of them out there on Craigslist. Always wanted one. I had uh, a K5 with the 350 in it and it was pretty cool. But uh, just a little something different, you know. So I'll show you the interior. Nothing special. Need some seats, but they're original. Door panels are pretty decent. It says 77,000 miles on it. Can't see it in the in the video, I don't think. Well, hey, you can. Oil pressure gauge doesn't work, nor does the battery, but I had the low coolant light on when I bought it and was able to figure that out. So Some spider webs back there because the back window hasn't been opened in a long time got cracked windows on both sides decent headliner all the lights work and everything which is cool old school radio let's go ahead and hear a start up Looks like the bolts are a little loose on the front bumper and need to go through them. A little bit of vibration and sound coming from that. It's got dual exhaust. I haven't gotten under to see how they did it, but it does have pipes coming out of each side. Weird thing is, this side has some weird curl outward piece on the outside. This one does not. Yeah, I just figured I'd share it. See if you if you have any experience with these. Maybe you can give me some pointers on getting a little extra horsepower and torque out of it. I hear you can't get much, but maybe get a turbo for it. Can't wait to take that top off. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Look forward to your comments if you have any. And... I'd love to know what you what you did to your K5 with the 6.2 in it. Fun stuff.